All right, we're going to watch Hannah's freestyle here from the side. So a couple things I like right away, the elbow. You like how the elbow starts to come out of the water. You like how you have your hands nice and low. That looks good. Nice elbow position all the way through. Your hand could maybe come up just a shade higher, but not much, Hannah. That looks really good. Okay, now this is interesting. So on the side, on your left side, you're a little bit more wide, where on your right side, you're a little bit more high elbow, low hand. Keep working on that high elbow, low hand for us, okay? You kind of start to see here. Well, that was a little more to the side there, too. So let's see on the breath. Uh, all right, on the breath here, it's kind of a straight arm recovery. All right, and, and really almost a little bit late on that breath. So you start that stroke, turn your head, but you can see how late it is getting your head down, right? Get that head down a lot quicker than what you are. That's a better high elbow. Kick out there looks good. You know, the one thing I noticed, Hannah, when you're swimming your freestyle, I'm seeing a really good head position. Lennon and I both really like how still you're keeping your head. Um, you know, sometimes on the flip side, right, when we do the back stroke, we feel your head's move a little bit too much, right? But here, your head's not moving at all. That's really good. Be careful. I call this sometimes um, garbage stroke, right? I call it a garbage stroke because I feel like you need to just throw it away. When you look at it here, you kind of see it's almost a half a stroke. You just barely got a breath in, and then you have to go right into your flip. That's a stroke you don't need, all right? So make sure you get a little bit stronger in that wall with that previous arm. Then as your hand gets your hip, flip, all right? Don't kind of rush it and then kind of jump on the wall. Uh, look at your hands out of the water here and here. So, again, we were seeing the underwater. We were talking about palms down, throwing water towards your face. If you do that, that will help on not bringing those hands out so much, okay? I mean, it's a little thing, I know, but I think it helps get your turn through the water a lot faster. As we go through, you do a great job of feet in that wall, start that pull. One, two. Okay, so that's a little bit better dolphin kick. Again, though, this is where we want you coming up, right? Right here where the flags are. As you can see, you're getting ready to start that very first pull a little bit earlier than maybe we want to see. All right, so let's keep working at getting a little bit longer and extending underwater. Good first stroke. Good second, third stroke. All right, we're going to rewind a little bit. And I want you to see... You really kind of pay attention to your back here. The reason why I say pay attention to your back is see how you kind of lift your shoulders out of the water with that first stroke. Um, kind of see how your shoulders start to come up. So your hips are down here, but look at how much higher that is up there. So you're kind of going almost above the water, trying to go outside of the water. Make sure you stay a little bit lower in that water. Don't let your body go quite up so high there, okay? Once we get into our stroke, hand entry is really good, hand exit is really good. All right, so here's what we can see for sure, definitively, two goggles out of the water, right? Mouth is a little bit too high out of the water. Work on having one goggle and half your mouth. And it sounds funny when you say half your mouth, I know that. But in actuality, what it is, is you're creating a little pocket of air that you don't even need to worry about. You're not going to get water in it, okay? So let's work on that breathing making a little bit uh, not so high in the water, okay? And I think if you can do that, you're going to get your head down a lot quicker as well. And the kick looks pretty good. Uh, the one thing Lynette was noticing is there's a couple times where you do like two kicks and a pause, two or three kicks and a pause. Make sure it's a steady kick all the way through. Um, you know, you've got some strong kick, but you've got to get them even stronger, and that's going to help you long-term freestyle. Good job, Hannah.